thing has more computational power in this, it's like as big as this room, than the fucking universe, if it was a computer? What are you saying? Like, and you're saying this is the proof of the multiverse? Like, what does that even fucking mean? And what happens if China gets this online? If, if we're able to do these like equations, right? It's kind of almost like proof of concept of the technology being efficient or efficacious. If they're able to do that, what if someone is more advanced than us and gets this connected to AI and implements some sort of a strategy for complete global domination of power grids, financial markets, completely takes control of assets, closes down government computers, locks up databases, deletes any information that's pertinent to who knows what, power grid, fucking infor informational structures like satellites, cell phones, all our all all of our radio signal all shuts everything down. Yep. Just shuts it all down. Like we're fucking helpless. Like p most cars have computers in them. Most people don't even know this. Like your car has a computer in it. When you have a Chevy and you bring it to the dealership, they plug it in to see what's going on. And the computer and the car, like if something shuts those off, no cars work. Everything's open at that Everything's point. fucked. The only you have old cars. That's it. Everybody's like Cuba. Everyone's driving, driving <laughs> around these, these ancient looking for parts. Yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd basically have, big, have to go back to carburetors. All the electronic fuel injection, all that shit's done. It's all done. My understanding all is all runs on an ECU. My understanding is that this isn't. This is something China's been looking forward to. So what I mean by that is that they have not just been working on this technology in order to break our encryption now, but have been storing our encrypted data from in the past such that when they do have that breakthrough they have a lot of data to be able to utilize it on not just what's happening now i know this is absolutely happening because my friend my friend bobby owns uh dakota the racetrack in town and when they had the formula one race at the, the at his racetrack they found these boxes that were connected to their this wi-fi system and these boxes were outside, so the public Wi-Fi system had been compromised mm. by these data-sucking boxes. And so they called in Homeland Security, they had them removed, the whole deal. But, like, someone had gotten to the racetrack and physically connected these boxes to a public Wi-Fi system. How many times is that going on where people don't notice it? Mm. What, how, this is not the first time they've done it. They picked a race in Austin. Yeah, we're going to get all those fucking <laughs> race fans suck up all their data it doesn't even make any sense right this is something that's probably been implemented before it's like what are they doing with that data i think they typically refer to that as a man in the middle attack so you think you're connecting to the regular wi-fi but you're actually connecting to the the adversary's wi-fi sending your data through there and then they send that to the original box that you thought you were communicating with and so they get all the information so and, all your passwords anything you're sending yeah exactly paypal yeah. That's how they try to crack the Tor network as well. Really? If you're familiar with that. Yes. Yeah, by setting up their own servers, essentially, to serve as a, a man-the-middle attack. But, you know, back to your point about China trying to work on quantum computing, on AI, you know, I think China is probably one of the biggest motivating factors that the government has right now for opening up the conversation on UAP, right? So we haven't had this peer threat that we have to worry about that has a totally different investment government structure than we have, right? So in the United States, we have this capitalist market and we have innovations that break out through that model like open AI. But there are some capabilities where they are not appetizing to the market itself, right? For example, uh, how do we just suddenly stand up a chip fabrication?